It's important to protect our skin from the sun's delightful yet damaging UV rays. We want to keep our skin juicy, wrinkle-free, and sunspot-free, so we need to invest in effective sunscreens to protect our skin. Navigating the maze of sunscreens can be tricky. Will this be too greasy, too heavy? Will this break me out or leave a white cast? So if you're a newbie who's interested in trying Korean sunscreens, or you're just looking for a new holy grail, then stick around because by the end of this video, I swear you'll find a Korean sunscreen that you'll be obsessed with. My first favorite should be no shock to you guys. It's the Round Lab Birch Juice Moisturizing Sun Cream. It's a sunscreen that all the Korean girlies are obsessed with and it's the number one seller in Korea. I just started using the sunscreen two years ago and it's still one of my all-time favorites. I love the adorable packaging. It's great for oily, dry, and sensitive skin. It feels like a serum on your face and it's super lightweight. I use this on days where my skin is feeling dry or it just needs that extra oomph of hydration. Most of the time when I use this, I skip my moisturizer and use this sunscreen instead because it's so hydrating. It's really refreshing. It doesn't leave a white cast and it's just an overall great sunscreen. The only thing I don't love is it can take a minute or two to blend to my skin and so I need to wait for it to absorb for a few minutes before I can apply my makeup. If you prefer more of a matte finish or have really oily skin, this probably isn't the best sunscreen for you. I'd recommend this if you have drier combination skin. My next holy grail is the Skin 104 Water Fit Sun Serum. This sunscreen is a little bit less hydrating than the Round Lab Birch Juice sunscreen. I really like the pump packaging because I'm able to dispense the right amount of sunscreen every time. It's really lightweight and hydrating and has this like dewy matte finish. It doesn't leave a white cast and it layers pretty well under my makeup without any pilling. It's also unscented which I love and it's great for all skin types including sensitive skin. The sunscreen actually has a sister. It's the Centella Airfit Sun Cream which is a mineral sunscreen so it's formulated with zinc oxide that creates a barrier on your skin to reflect the UV rays. Mineral sunscreens are great if you have sensitive or acne prone skin because they're less likely to cause irritation and are non-comogenic. The AirFit Sun Cream is a little bit more creamy. It has a thicker texture compared to the WaterFit Sun Serum. It takes a little bit longer to blend into my skin, but once absorbed, it's pretty lightweight. It does leave a slight white cast that gives my skin a brightening effect, so this may not be the best option if you have a darker skin tone. It doesn't have any fragrance, so it's great for sensitive skin. So if you're trying to choose between the two, the Centella Water Serum is better if you have dry skin or if you like a more dewy, glowy finish or have a darker skin tone, whereas the Centella Airfit Sun Cream is better for those with oily or acne prone skin that prefer more of a semi-matte finish. Both are great, it just depends on what texture and finish you prefer. For me, I personally prefer the Centella Waterfit Serum because I like the water moisturizing texture. Another one of my favorites is the Goodall Heartleaf Moisture Sun Cream. I'm actually surprised that more people aren't talking about this sunscreen. The more I use it, the more I love it. It's really lightweight, the texture is slightly lighter than the Round Lab Birch Juice Sunscreen and the Skin 104 Water Fit Sun Serum for reference. It absorbs pretty quickly into my skin faster than the Round Lab Birch Juice Sunscreen. It's not as hydrating. I would describe it as mildly hydrating. It has a semi-matte finish and gives my skin the perfect amount of dewiness. And I like that it doesn't include niacinamide because I feel like our skin gets overloaded with niacinamide since it's in like every skincare product. I would recommend this if you have oily or acne prone skin or even really sensitive skin. But if you have dry skin, you might want a more moisturizing option like the Round Lab Birch Juice Sunscreen or the Skin 104 Water Fit Sun Serum. Another one of my holy grails is the Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice Moisture Airlift Sunscreen. I absolutely love this sunscreen. I really like the pump because I can dispense the right amount of product to protect my skin. It has a creamy yet lightweight texture that absorbs really quickly into my skin. It's the creamiest of all the sunscreens that I've talked about today and it has more of a satin velvet finish. I use this when my skin is feeling oily or when I'm in a rush and I need my sunscreen to quickly absorb so I can put on my makeup. It's not as hydrating as the other sunscreens I mentioned but it doesn't irritate my skin and it doesn't break me out. It also doesn't have any fragrance which I love. For me, this is my go-to sunscreen when I want to wear a full face of makeup or when my skin is feeling oily. I recommend this if you have oily, acne-prone skin or even sensitive skin. If you have dry skin, then you probably want to go with the sunscreen by Round Lab or the Skin 1004 Water Fit Sun Serum. The sunscreen also has a sister, which is a mineral sunscreen version. It's the Black Rice Pure Mineral Relief Daily Sunscreen, so make sure you don't purchase the wrong one. If you like mineral sunscreens, this is actually a really good one. It's not your normal mineral sunscreen. It has a creamy, heavier texture, but it's still lightweight, hydrating, and it doesn't leave a white cast on my skin like other mineral sunscreens. When comparing it to the 104 Centella Airfit Sun Cream, it's a little bit more hydrating and leaves
leaves more of a dewier finish. Like I mentioned earlier, mineral sunscreens are great if you have sensitive skin or if you're prone to breakouts because zinc oxide, which is the UV filter, won't irritate your skin or clog your pores. Now if I were to choose my favorite, it's actually a tie between the Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice Air Fit Sunscreen and the Goodall Heartleaf Calming Cream. I always use a Haru Haru sunscreen if I'm doing a full face of makeup, but if I'm keeping it more casual and more natural, then I'll use the Goodall sunscreen. Comment below with your favorite sunscreen and then let me know if you've tried one of the sunscreens that I talked about today and let me know what your thoughts are. Just a reminder to subscribe to my channel for more K-beauty and skincare tips. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I'll see you next time.